this video, we're going to see some of the global data from the Global Data Administrator in AutoVid Sheet Metal. You can see we've broken it down into libraries, and there's some basic components in the libraries, including nuts, bolts, washers, liner, flex duct, insulation, miscellaneous steel items. We have definitions, and this is where we would find our hangers, our flex connectors, insulation, again, liner, plenums, sealer, turning vanes. And now we'll take a look at our duct construction standards. Now we're going to pick duct construction standards rectangular first. And you can see that we've built construction standards all the way from 304 stainless steel welded right down to PVC coated. We use the SMACNA construction, duct construction standards to build these. We'll take a look at galvanized 2 inch water gates, TGC with Condalock. And you can see we've broken it down by duct dimensions. And the material thickness changes as the duct size changes. And we can pick longitudinal seams and duct lengths. It's set up for five foot for coil line duct. We can see our connectors, reinforcements available. Let's take a little detail at the connector. We can see the connector falls under definitions because there's multiple components. We'll take a look at those components here and you can see the cleats, corners, bolts, and nuts. We can take a look at the specifics for those and drill right down to the library component and we can see the price for each one of those corner pieces. So it's easy to navigate and find things. The libraries are extensive, especially the miscellaneous steel. You can see here's our rings for the various round angle iron rings. Take a look at our labor area. Now, this is the labor is broken down into all these different categories, whether it's detailing, elevation correction factors, and wage tables. We're going to first take a look at the labor books. And as we ship it to you, we get two sets of labor tables. Smack the piece and smack the pound book, primarily by the piece, and then some things are primarily by the pound. You can easily add your own labor books in, and I'm going to create an industrial book here. You're allowed up to eight sets of labor tables. And the easiest thing to do is to duplicate an existing labor table because there's literally thousands of values in those tables, and we'd be able to create our own labor books based upon SMACNA and then modify them as we need for our business whether we factor those up or down. Looking a little more detail in the labor, I'm going to go back to my construction standard, and you can see all the various fittings and ductwork that we can make. It's broken down to field, field handling, and shop time based upon the perimeter in the smack and the pound book. We can see the detail of that by simply right-clicking and go to our labor setup editor. And here's the various labor methods you're allowed to use. So whether you're uh, pieces per hour, hours per piece, pounds per hour, hours per pound, kind of company, we have a labor method for that. Some other items like library items, you can see we have an extensive list of diffusers. We have equipment tables. We'll just take a look at the air handling units. And you see based upon CFM, there's labor values for that. Of course, you could modify these as you need for your project and the project conditions. Take a look at our round construction standards. And again, we have an extensive list of round construction standards based upon SMACNA, diameter, material thicknesses, and types. We actually have a general properties information here, price book when purchasing, because we realize a lot of our customers purchase their round duct and fittings rather than make them. And you're allowed up to four sets of pricing tables for round pipe and fittings. Again, and then there's labor tables underneath, and we could see per smack and a pound, here's the various labor methods based upon which labor book you want to use in your project. So that's a very brief, quick overview of some of the specs and some of the labor tables available in Audubon Sheet Metal Global Data Administrator.